it says a legal argument exception with uh, zero and height 13 must be non-zero. Oh, okay, so it tells me here a width for something was zero, but it's not allowed to be zero. How can I find out where that was? Well, here it shows me all the methods it is currently in. So at the moment we came out of the Greenfoot core, out of a run option, and we went up into this run one loop method. We got into rock act, we got into explode. And the most important one is if you walk up the stack here from the bottom to the top, the last one of the methods that's your own. So here we have Java AWT image replicate scale filter. This is something from the Java library that's not, not our own, so there's nothing we can do here. Let's look. We got into rock act, rock explode, rock place debris, and then the init of debris, that is the, the constructor of the debris class. Um, and then we got into the scale method, and there was something, then it all went wrong. So our last method was the um, constructor of the debris object. And what it told us here that is that the width was zero, but it shouldn't be zero. And that is because here my width is actually a random number between zero and 29. So to make sure that this is never zero, I just add one here. So that is always at least one. And that should avoid this problem. And I can close this window. I can try that again. Compile this. Put a rock in there run it and press a key on my keyboard. Boom, and that looks much better. So if I look, if I place multiple rocks in here now and I press a few keys on my keyboard, they now explode very nicely. That looks good. Um, so the last thing I'll do is I will um, prepare my project so that it has a few rocks in there already to start with. So that people can look at my demo and if they want to try it out they don't have to guess that they have to place rocks in there that I can start it in a state um, that it's already usable. The way I do that is um, the way you always do that. When you, If you want to create an initial state of your world that uh, at the moment of opening this project you, the user sees immediately, you just put that into the world and get that executed from the constructor of the world. So here um, I make a place rocks method and there I just decide how many I want. Let's say for int i equals zero i is less than how many rocks do I want? Let's say 20, quite a few, maybe a bit too few. 10, 10 rocks is enough. Um, I plus plus, so I just write a simple for loop that runs 10 times, and for every time here, um, I do an add object, and the object I want to add, oops, bracket the wrong way around, it's a new rock, um, and then here I need to specify x and y coordinate where I want to add it. Um, let's say I make that random, so I do here again my green foot dot get random number um, and now this should be um, let's say the x position is what I'm getting first so the x position should be anything um, up to the width so I could just type 500 because I know the width is 500 but if I change this later and I type 500 here and I forget to change it down there that's not good so I can just actually get the current width of the world. I am in the world here, so I can just use get width and I will get the width of the world. Um, and I do the same again for the height. So I copy and paste and I do the same for the y coordinate um, and I get random for anything up to the height. And then I can say here x and y are the coordinates where I want to place my new rock. And there ends my loop and there ends my place rocks. Oh, I forgot something here, of course. Um, this is public void. Okay, so now I've got a place rocks method that places a few rocks in there. This already we can try out. If I um, 
compile this now, nothing happens because this method, of course, has not been called. But um, instance methods that are available for the world object, you, we can now call on the world object. The representation of the world object here in Greenfoot is this title of the world. If I right click here, I can invoke the place rocks method, and there are my rocks. Um, and if I want now want to do that done automatically the time the world is created I just go into my constructor and I just call place rocks here from within my constructor um, and then automatically as soon as I compile they get placed automatically and if I run this now and press a key on my keyboard they start exploding and that looks okay so now we can put this explosion into a game and you can shoot rocks um, or collide with them or um, blow them up to anything that causes them to be blown into bits. Okay, think about what you can build from this. We'll stop here until next time.